Hey everybody, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. I had a really good question this week from a follower on YouTube, and let's get right into it. Greg, I'm new to printing and I'm having a problem regarding resolution slash printing. Some of my picks say X and Y resolution, 72 DPI, and a uh, photo taken minutes later will say 300 DPI. I'm getting this from the EXIF info in Flickr. At this time, I've only edited an iPhoto. So, how do I set my resolution for the best possible quality? How does DPI relate to printing size and quality? How can I print large prints 20 by 30 with my D90? All right, well, there's a couple things we need to figure out and uh, that you need to understand. And most people don't understand this at all. So, let's kind of dispel some of those myths and some of the problems that people have with this and I, I don't understand why it's always been wrong but it's one of those things that gets keeps on getting passed down and down and down and down and down and everybody's wrong about it it seems like so PPI first pixels per inch that refers to pixels per inch or pixel density is a measurement of the resolution of devices in various contexts typically computer displays image scanners scanners digital camera image sensors Okay, so in other words, it's referring to the images themselves when they're on the computer. All right, it's not referring to DPI, which is the wrong term that everyone uses. DPI is used to describe the resolution number of dots per inch in a digital print. In other words, one of these, the actual printed material, you know, it's the actual business card, it's when it's on paper. Okay, and the printing resolution of the hard copy print dot gain. The increase in the size of the halftone dots during printing this is caused by the spreading of ink on the surface of the media. All right, so this is DPI, or but an image on your screen is a PPI, pixels per inch. And if you don't believe me, we can go to a really good source, which is Adobe. All right, let's go to Photoshop, go to Edit, and whoops, go to Image and Image Size. Resolution, same thing we're talking about here. Look, pixels per inch. Exactly. Now go back over to Lightroom. And we get a file and we get our export. Where's export? There it is. And we scroll down and look. Pixels per inch. Okay, so stop calling it DPI. It's not DPI. It's PPI. All right? So please use the right term whether you're getting it right or not. <laughs> so that's first. So, the term PPI, does it matter? And I'm here to tell you that it does not matter with regard to images on the web or everyday printing of your photographs. Now, if you are doing some of your own printing, if you're doing major printing, you know what, it might matter maybe if you're doing big prints, but for small stuff, for most of your desktop printing, uh, that kind of thing, up to you know some of the 14-inch the printers, it's probably not going to matter one bit. If you're talking about huge stuff, you know, maybe you have one of those big 24-inch printers, you know, then you might want to do the research and figure it out and get it right. So that's the time that it matters. But for other times, which I'm going to explain to you, it doesn't matter. So let's explain that. We have this image, 100 by 26 pixels, and that's what really matters. It's the dimensions of the file. It's the number of pixels on from one side, the width and the height. Okay, width is usually said first, and then the height is usually said second when you say the dimensions. All right, so right now it's at 72 pixels per inch. Okay, and as you see when I zoom in on it, it's pretty small. All right, this is a small image, and uh, you know it, it, they're, the pixels aren't very big. Obviously, I have a higher resolution of this, but this is for uh, explanation purposes. Okay, so I go to image and I go to image size. And I change, I'm going to change this to one pixel per inch. Okay, oops, one at 300. Oops, I forgot to hit un uncheck resample. I'm not going to resample. I want to change this to one pixel per inch. Okay, wow, look, it didn't change. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's not going to change. What matters, the 100 by 26 is not going to change. All right, so to back to your question. How do I set my resolution for the best possible quality? Don't worry about it. Leave the default. Leave it at the 240 or 300. Basically, all that PPI measurement is, is just like a little stamp. It's just a little bit of EXIF information, which Lightroom strips a lot, which Photoshop strips a lot. 
that tells it, okay, it should be about this size when this image is printed. But it's just a generic number. It could be one, it could be a hundred, it could be a thousand, it could be ten thousand, it could be a million. It's just a generic number. It doesn't really matter. When we're talking about image that you're printing up on the web and when you're, uh, you know, doing stuff whether on your own computer, on your own anything, okay? How does DPI relate to size and printing quality? Well, when it is actually being printed, technically, and again, DPI is the wrong term, but DPI is in printing, not PPI as in images on the size or on your computer. For DPI, technically, the higher DPI, the image uh, is going to be scaled smaller, okay, and then it's going to be printed smaller when you have a higher DPI. When you have a lower DPI, it would then be printed bigger, okay, when there's a higher, lower PPI, all right. It's just a, a generic number which really doesn't affect any of the size because the image is going to be scaled by the pixel dimensions, all right? So when you're displaying an image on the web, so uh, let's go, let's, let's look at this image right here, okay? This image is, let's find out how big it is. View, oops, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Um... Is this what I want to do? Yes. Okay. So we're looking at my code for my website. All right. And this image is 250 by 70 pixels. Okay. That's how big it's being displayed. All right. It doesn't matter what the size of the DPI is. It's going to display by the size of the image that's actually displayed or if the style sheet tells it to display it at a different size. All right. The same thing if we uh, look at another, let's bring up another article here. I'm kind of getting off on a tangent, but that's okay. Here we go. Okay, so these images that I put up last week, all right, these are 640 by something or other images. I think I, I put up 640 width images on the blog usually. And so this is 640 pixels wide, and so that's the size that it's going to display, 640 pixels, as long as there's no modifications by the browser or as long as there's no uh, modifications by uh, the style sheet basically telling it to make it bigger and to expand it when it shouldn't. All right. So that DPI is still not mattering here. So here's what happens. When I go and I, I, I'm working, say I was sending this photo out to a company, they wanted to use it for a magazine article or they wanted to use it for a book. Okay, and that company or that person calls me up and says, Hi, Greg, we want to buy your image for $1 million. Don't I wish? And they say, Okay, we want to buy your image for $1 million. Okay, let me hold the phone up. We want to buy your image for $1 million. Okay, I said, Okay, great. Let's show, them, show me the money. Okay, well, what, what resolution do you need that at? You want it as big as possible, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Just send it to me at 300 DPI. Eh, first wrong answer. That is the first problem. That's like a big red flag. Whoa, problem here. No good. Here is the issue. Okay, we're going to go back over here to Photoshop. All right, this image is 100 by 26. Okay, we're going to set it at 300 PPI, not DPI, because they already said that wrong. All right, guess what? It still didn't change its size. Image, image size again. It's still, where are our pixels? It disappeared. Oh man. Oh, there it is. 100 pixels by 26. It's still 100 pixels wide. It hasn't changed. The size hasn't changed. Even though, wow, the resolution is at 300. Okay? They're idiots. They don't know any better and they need to be taught. All right? So send them this video so that they can actually learn it and learn it right. So, what really matters? If I was going to send this out to a magazine, okay, out to that designer, out to that printing company, out to whoever, what really matters is the dimensions of the file and go back to your question over here okay it's the dimensions of the picture all right the d90 is a 12 megapixel camera plenty of resolution as long as you have a normal exposure to print beautiful 20 by 30 prints 10 years ago whatever it was 2002 when i bought my first digital camera it was a kodak dcs 620 i think I think it's a 620. That was a 2 megapixel camera. 2 megapixels. Okay? I was printing 20 by 30s and 30 by 40s all day long with a 2 megapixel camera. Alright? I don't want to hear that you need to have 
the brand new D800 because it has because you want to print 20 by 30s with a you know out, out of the 36 megapixels or whatever it is in a D800. Give me a break. Now, granted, from the files that I shot two years ago with my D3X that I had was using at the time that are printing on my wall that are 40 inches are beautiful. But you know what? The ones from my two megapixel camera still hold up from 10 years ago. And you don't you really don't see the difference. So, bottom line, maximize quality. That's what always what we want to do. So we're going to look at this image and we're going to go to file and we're going to export. By the way, the file is exported. It looks good. It's got a good exposure. Minimal noise, all that stuff. It all applies. You always have to make sure that there's no issues there. Uh, make sure that your exposure is on, basically. All right, so we're going to export. Now, typically what I will do, if I know that I'm going to have an image that's going to be printed big, say this is going to be a big poster, or say this is going to be uh, something big, you know, 40 inches, 30 inches, something big, all right, not just a magazine. Typically what I will do is up-res it, which is a whole nother th uh, video, but I'll make it a little bit bigger. All right, I'll go to this 5,000 pixels here, and I'll export it. That's what really matters, the width and the height in pixel size that's what matters all right let's choose a jpeg file let's choose it to make it a hundred percent resolution again really doesn't matter here in uh, lightroom where it's going to resize it and it's going to constrain the image in between the this 5000 by 5000 we're going to show an explorer we're going to sharpen it a little bit and we are going to Choose where a desktop. We're gonna put it in a subfolder, and we're gonna call it Jack. All right, and let's export this picture. Now it's gonna export it for us. By the way, I shot this a uh, couple years ago on a tripod. Love that. Remember that last week's video about um, the about depth of field and about having shooting macro stuff. This is a cool one I shot with my 60 millimeter lens. Anyway, here we go. This image. All right. 5,000 pixels by 3,327. So I've up it slightly. Um, realistically, if you're printing a 20 by 30 with a 12 megapixel camera, you could even go with 4,000 pixels and it would still look great. It's still plenty of resolution. Notice I didn't say PPI. Notice I didn't say DPI. I said resolution or the size of the image. Okay. There's plenty of dimensions here, plenty of pixels here to print a 30 inch image without a problem. All right, and we're going to go to properties. All right, and show you one more time. There it is. Okay, dimensions 3327 by 5000. All right, so that is what really matters is the actual dimensions of the file, pixels by pixels, not your DPI, not your PPI. Hopefully, I've helped you out a little bit. You see the red flags when someone says, just send it to me in 300 DPI. You can say to them, oh, that's that's not the right measurement. I need to know pixel size. All right. And then you can point to this video or you can say to them, OK, um, you know, look at the image size that you need it to be in Photoshop or something. This, like I said, is 300 DPI, but it's still only 100 pixels by 26 pixels. And if I was going to go to print this out, it would be really small and it would be really crappy. And that's obviously not what we want. So hopefully that helped you a little bit. And it was a really good question, so thank you very much for sending that in. If you guys have any other questions that you would like to uh, help with, I'd love to hear them. Questions, comments, concerns, that I missed something, send them over. Greg Cazillo, Cazillo.com. Keep shooting. See ya.